I'm Carrie Fisher, Real Food Enthusiast for Pastures Delights, and this is my daughter Marin, and we are going to show you today what you can do with your old milk jugs. We're going to make a Thanksgiving turkey. So to start, we need to have some brown paint and an empty milk jug that is cleaned out. Make sure you clean it out thoroughly because you don't want your turkey to smell like sour milk. So we're going to get a little paint on our tray here and take our paint brushes and we don't need the cap so we're going to set that aside and then we're going to paint our milk jug. Now as you paint it don't worry about getting it all smooth because each little stroke will just look like a feather so um, kind of the more textured the better. This is a fun project you can do with your kids. They'll enjoy playing in the paint. Then you kind of get the idea. We just paint around the whole thing. And um, once you have it painted up and you're ready to have it dry, you can let it sit like this um, so it will dry upright. But I already have uh, a milk jug painted here. We completed earlier, so um, we'll have to let the milk jug dry and then we can move on to the next step. Now, next we need to have some scissors and a marker and some colored paper. Now, the colors we chose are red, orange, yellow, and brown. So once you get your construction paper there, start, we need to start with making the turkey head. So take your milk cap that you set aside earlier, and we're gonna trace around the milk cap to make the circle for the head. And the brown paper. And then you take your scissors and cut that out right here. And next, we're going to take the orange paper and draw a triangle. See, Marin, there's the triangle. And you take the triangle and you cut that out, and that will become the turkey's beak. the red paper and to distinguish the turkey from any other chicken or anything else we have to draw the waddle. So to do that have your child draw the letter J if they are school age you can do that and then kind of close it off on the end and you got a turkey waddle. So I'm going to cut that out pieces of the head. So finally we just need the feathers. So to make the feathers we need three different sizes. So for the first size we just need a small feather and this will be on the wings. So we're going to draw a small feather for the wing. And then we're going to draw a larger, medium-sized feather for the other part of the wing. And then we're going to take our big sheets of paper and draw large feathers. I want to draw three large feathers on the big paper. Then We'll need to cut all these out and you can try to cut them all together or if you are having trouble you can cut them each one at a time and here you see we have 
some small feathers. Now, I already have feathers cut out. Okay. We're going to set our papers aside and bring out the last step of our project. So, here are our feathers. And our head and our beak, we're going to glue all this together. So take the glue, Marin. Take the glue. And I'm going to put some glue on the edge of the beak. Some glue, put it on the edge of the beak, and then I'm press that down. Okay, put it on there. There you go. Then we take our waddle, turn our head over, put some glue on the end of that, okay. and then put that right there. Okay. Let me turn it over. Got the turkey's base of his head. And then we can either draw on eyes. So take the marker and draw one eye and two eyes. Or if you have googly eyes like we have here, you can glue those on. Drop there. One eye and two eyes. I'm going to set that aside and let that dry. Next, we're going to make the wings. So, for the wings, we're going to pick out two colors. Got two. One, two. And then we pick out two small ones. One, two. And we're going to just arrange them, whatever looks good. We're going to take a stapler and staple them together. So there's one wing. And then we'll do the same thing with this other wing here. Arrange them together and put a nice staple in there. There's our two wings. Okay. okay, now we're ready to glue them onto our milk jug. So I have another head here that we made earlier today that's already dry, so we will use this head. And we're going to glue some glue. Yep, I'm going to put the glue right there down the line, down the center. And Marin, let's put the turkey on the turkey neck. Put the turkey on the turkey neck. There we go. There is his head. And then do the same things with the wings. Put the wing on. That right there, like that, and help me with the glue. I'm glue this on, oh. and put that on here, like this. Press right there. And press it on. And there's our wings, and then. The back, we just again add some glue to the feather and stick it on there like that. And you continue layering the feathers all the way around the back side of the turkey. And you let it dry overnight and voila! We have our finished turkey. Now if you're really creative, 
can make this early in the month. Every day in the month of in the month of November, you can write what you are thankful for on a piece of paper and drop it in your turkey. So, Marin, what are we thankful for? Are we thankful for raw milk? You bet we are. So, all right, raw milk there on a piece of paper. Fold it up. And can you drop that in there? Yep, put it in here. There we go. Happy Thanksgiving from Pastures Delights.